all right fellas so first of all you need to navigate to the search bar on your windows and you need to type nvidia in the search bar once you type nvidia in the search bar you will have two options here nvidia control panel and the nvidia geforce experience first of all we need to dive straight into the nvidia geforce experience all right fellas so once you're right inside you need to navigate to drivers once you are there you need to find these three vertical dots and you need to click on this you will see two options here game ready driver and the studio driver we need to go with the studio driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps and it is best for the 3ds max and it will enable the gpu acceleration in the 3ds max as a result you will see the increase in the rendering speed and if you are unable to see the studio driver here it means that your gpu does not support it and you might need to go with the game ready driver and that is fine too so once you're done make sure you have the latest version of the nvidia studio driver installed on your pc and the current version is 546.33 you need to make sure you have the latest version you can click on check for updates and you will see the message at the bottom left you have the latest NVIDIA Studio driver installed on your PC. So once you're done, let us go right inside the media control panel. For that, you can again go to the search bar on your Windows and again you need to search NVIDIA in the search bar. Once you're done, you can see the NVIDIA control panel here and you need to navigate right inside that. Alright fellas, so once you are right inside, you need to first of all go to the adjust image settings with the preview that is located at the left side of the screen in the top and you will see this pop up here and you need to click on use the advanced 3D image settings and once you are done, you need to click on apply at the bottom right corner of the screen once you are done, let us go right inside the configure surround physics and in the processor you need to select the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. This is your GPU. This might be different in your case, but you need to select your GPU here. Do not go with the CPU or the auto select. This setting is important if you are gonna play games on your PC along with the video editing. This is the perfect setting that you can apply. And we need the processor of the GPU to be used, not auto select and the CPU. So that's why we are gonna go with the GPU. So once you're done, let us go right inside the Manage 3D settings. Once you're right inside the Manage 3D settings, you can go with global settings and the program settings global settings will be applied to all applications on your pc but the program settings will be applied specifically so it is recommended to apply the program settings once you are right inside the program settings you need to click on this checkbox show only programs found on this computer this is very important and once you do so you need to click on this drop down and from this drop down you need to find the 3ds max software and as you can see i am unable to locate the program from this list so in that case i will click on add once i click on add i will need to find the 3ds max from this list as you can see i have found the 3ds max 2024 from this list and i will double click on this and it will be automatically loaded into my program settings as you can see i have loaded the 3ds max successfully in the program settings and if still you are unable to locate it you can go to the add and uh, from this list you are still unable to locate the 3ds max you can click on browse once you click on browse you need to specify the path where your autodesk is located so i will tell you the default location where autodesk 3ds max is located first of all you need to navigate into the local disk c where your windows installed next you need to navigate into program files then you need to navigate to autodesk and these are all the softwares that is installed on my pc and we need to go right inside the 3ds max 2024 once you are right inside that folder you need to find the application file.exe file this is the application type of the file is application and this is the exe file i will double click on this and it will be loaded into the program settings let's apply the best nvidia control panel settings for the 3ds max for the image scaling you need to go with on and keep the sharpen at 50 percent and click on ok for any dropping filtering go with 16x for anti-aliasing fx AA, go with on for anti-aliasing gamma correction go with on for anti-aliasing mode you need to go with enhance the application settings and for anti-aliasing settings you need to go with 8x for anti-aliasing transparency go with 8x super sample you can ignore background application max frame rate but this setting CUDA GPUs is very important you need to click on this select use these GPUs and select your graphics card here in this case I have GTX 1660 Ti so I will select this one and click on ok for the CUDA system fallback policy you need to go with driver default for low latency mode you can ignore that for the max frame rate you can also ignore that for monitor technology you can also ignore that for multi frame sampled AAMFAA you need to go with on for the OpenGL GDI compatibility, this is very important. You need to go with prefer performance. For OpenGL rendering GPU, this is also with a very important setting that you need to consider and you need to select your graphics card here. 
for power management mode this is also very important and you need to select prefer maximum performance you can ignore preferred refresh rate for the texture filtering you need to click on on for texture filtering negative LOD bias you need to click on clamp for texture filtering quality go with high performance for the trilini optimization in the texture filtering go with on for threaded optimization make sure it is on you can ignore the triple buffering you can also ignore the vertical sync you can also ignore the virtual reality pre rendered frames in the vulkan open gl preset method you need to click on prefer layered on dxga swap chain and once you're done navigate to the right bottom of the screen and click on apply now your 3ds max is successfully optimized and uh, let us go right inside the 3ds max software and apply the gpu acceleration settings all right fella so as you can see i'm right inside the autocad 3ds max software and once you're right inside you need to find this option rendering in the top navigation and once you do so you need to navigate to render setup now you need to understand these settings very carefully first of all the target should be production rendering mode and in the renderer do not select anything else Arnold. and in the view to render it should be quad for perspective and once you're done you need to navigate to the bottom navigation and you need to click on system once you do so you need to scroll down until you see the device let me collapse all these options for you now i am right inside this system and i can see the device here i will click on this and i can see the renderer device as a cpu set by default so in order to enable the gpu acceleration you need to click on this and you need to select the gpu once you do so you can click on ok and now whenever you render in the AutoCAD 3ds max the gpu will be used instead of the cpu and it will be much faster and for the fallbacks you can go with the error and also you can go with the cpu if anything happens and if your gpu is unable to render anything you can go with the cpu in that case that's fine and next you need to make the gpu names as a static and the min memory in mbs should be 518 that's fine do not mess with these settings and this is very important you can click on manual device selection and it is important if you have more than one gpus in your pc and right now i will select this one nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti and uh, i will check this box and it will enable the gpu acceleration in my autocad 3ds max and for the gpu settings max texture resolution you need to go with zero that is unlimited and once you are done you need to close this pop-up and you need to restart your autocad 3ds max and now you can create scenes and animations and uh, buildings and environments in your autocad 3ds max and uh, it will use your gpu while you're rendering in 3ds max and that's it i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day